lot of calls are very routine and then some are not and this was one of those that really stands out in your mind. We don't just get in the helicopter and transport people and go home at the end of the day. Um, sometimes you bring your work home with you, whether it's a pediatric patient or whether it's an adult patient. Um, you know, it, it has an impact on us and it has an impact on the way we practice from then on out. Um, so for me to be able to come here today and to meet this young lady, um, I can't even put it into words. It's remarkable. Not very often in EMS we get to see the outcome of the calls and the patients we touch and deal with. So it's amazing to be able to see how well she's doing considering the injuries she had. That's Kevin, that's Sean, and that's EJ. Ah, thanks. These three men were the men that cared and flew Sapphire Terry on that day back in 2013 that she was involved in the arson fire in the city of Schenectady. So... This was a big team effort, obviously. From, right from the firemen that pulled her out of the fire, right to the doctors and nurses at the burn center that took care of her. We all did this for her. I was sitting where you are right now, and Sean was over here. She's so strong and bright and, and full of life, is uh, very inspiring and has recolored the entire experience for me in a very positive way. We're humans. It's not going to go away, but it's at least I'll leave here seeing this young lady and knowing her now. It made me feel like I'm doing the right thing. I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to help this young lady who was so horrifically injured. Um, it just reaffirmed for me that I did the right thing with my career. Thank you everybody and I love you all.